the main event of this fiasco was for the TV title Scorpio Sky versus Sammy Guevara. And of course, Scorpio Sky had Lambert and the other page in his corner. And again, has Scorpio Sky wrestled in the last six months to a year? We see him in the in the balcony in the press box. We see him in Lambert's group. Has he actually wrestled in the last year? Well, they said he had some like incredible record in AEW. They said When's that. the last time you saw him on television wrestling a wrestling match? Well, him and Ethan Page had that match at that pay-per-view against someone, and I don't even remember who, and then they've been around a lot. So I the tag team match against someone sometime at a pay-per-view qualified him for a TV title match on his own. Okay, I just want to make sure. <sighs> Again, here's two guys that are such great athletes and can't get out of their own way to save their lives. It's... It's not the the 90% of their athletic ability that comes below the neck. It's the 10% of the mental capacity that is above the neck that is lacking. And I don't know what they're thinking with this. They did a couple of nice spots, and then they went to the floor, and Sammy went to run Sky into the barricade to his left, but Sky ran right out of Sammy's hands and straight head first into the rail on his right. And this can happen. You see it every once in a while. If a guy is coming up off the mat and he's bent over and he's looking down and he feels the guy grab him by the hair and start to take him somewhere, when that guy looks up and he sees that, and, and maybe Sammy said, rail, right? So Scorpio Scout looks up and sees the rail that's in front of him, not the rail that's, that Sammy believes is in front of him. Sammy's looking at the one to the left. Sky's looking at the one to the right. And I swear to God, he and Sammy did the double take. Like he's running Sky toward the rail, and suddenly Sky disappears out of his hand. Sammy looks around like, where the fuck did he go? Well, he shot off that different direction. So then Sammy, the baby face in this morality play, pulls a table out from under the ring and runs Scorpio Sky into the stairs now and then ruins any momentum of a match that they were having by taking forever to set up a table. They were on the floor for minutes without being counted out and doing nothing at the same time. And Sammy, I think, once did the stupid thing that JR felt it sounded like he wanted to call it and he'd, he'd, he'd call it what it was. He said, Oh, Sammy rolled in and broke the count, but two guys are fighting on the floor. One guy half ass rolls onto the apron and rolls back off. How does that break the count on both guys? You would never have a count out if it breaks the count when one guy gets back in the ring. Only a double count out would be possible. So therefore, it's caca point is they're on the floor for minutes they're doing nothing at the same time then sammy put scorpio sky on the table and he laid there motionless for 21 seconds while sammy guevara shows the camera he's crazy with the old roughhouse fargo spinning his finger around next to his head climbs to the top rope shows the camera he's crazy again and then does a double forward flipping cannonball, two revolutions, off the top rope, to the table, to the floor. Sky moved, and Guevara crashes through the table, and it looked like it killed him. I think it broke his hip. It looked like it broke him. His hip, his neck, his back, his spirit. But think about this. We've now established that Sammy Guevara is a blithering idiot. He's the baby face, but he took so long to set this thing up, expected the guy to still be there, mugs twice for the camera, and then misses. The baby face I'm supposed to root for is a fucking moron. What well, now he deserves whatever he gets. You fucking idiot. Why would you do that? It didn't make sense. And then here comes Ty Conti. And Ty Conti runs out and is checking on Sammy along with the doctor. Why? 
we find out in the next segment after the break, somebody said, well, that's his girlfriend. They haven't dated, kissed, or fucked on this television program before. Just the nerds on the internet know that they're an item. Yeah, the last time we saw Sammy on the show with a girlfriend was the girlfriend he was proposed to. He was proposing to his girlfriend. <laughs> and it wasn't her. <laughs> So they go to the break, and the announcer, I think it was excrement, pitches, this match will continue after the uh, match will continue. (laughs) The guy's fucking laying there. He's just crashed through this goddamn table. His girlfriend is crying over him, and the doctor's performing the last rites. This match will continue. (laughs) What are we going to see next? The cremation? (laughs) After the break? It continued. (laughs) He was back in the ring. Why wasn't he counted out? Why was there a special dispensation for Sammy Guevara not to be counted out? when He didn't get special treatment because he was cheated, because the heel did something underhanded. He didn't, like in the UFC, when there's an accidental ball kick, you get five minutes to get your balls back together. It wasn't that. He did it to himself. He wasn't sidelined by cheating. There was no recovery period called for in the rule book for a low blow he just fucked up so they just said well while we're in commercial let's just give him a chance to get back in does that make sense brian no none of this makes sense no aew referee knows how to count and it didn't if he he took that bump specifically because he figured i'll take this bump and wow people will go crazy He didn't think it's going to make me look like an idiot. He didn't think it's going to make the match look bullshit. He didn't think it's going to make my opponent look like a moron because he's involved in this fiasco. He didn't think it's going to make the goddamn wrestling business look like a clusterfuck. Just, I'll get to do something cool. And he doesn't even need to get girls. He's already got Ty Conti. But after the break, he was on his feet and fighting back. And then Scorpio Sky took back over and gave him an over-the-knee backbreaker in the ring. He sold more than falling 20 feet through a table onto concrete. This is what I wrote verbatim. Everybody involved in this is a complete imbecile and should be shunned from society. So then the guy that should be in a body cast and a medically induced coma in an iron lung while his family prays over him got up and started doing running spots and springboards off the ropes. And I said, fuck it, I'm done. And I turned the goddamn thing off. No. Yes, I did. Do you know what happened? I do not. Don't care. Can I tell you? If you want to, won't change my mind. I, I'm not saying anything's going to change your mind. Fuck this match. Who Let me guess. Shit? He took another big bump and got up. Uh, Well, no, eventually he got down. Scorpio Sky, <laughs> your new TNT champion... And then there's a post-match where Paige Van Zant gets involved and starts beating up Ty Conti. So now you have Scorpio Sky, TNT champion. Paige Van Zant, they announce, is signed with AEW. Gotta wonder if the... I mean, they were doing something with her and Brandy. Is that the Ty Conti role now? Instead of Red Velvet, they're gonna go with Ty Conti? I guess time will tell. And also, here's the other question I have for you, knowing this now, that Scorpio Sky, a guy who they internally think really highly of i don't think wrestling fans give a shit about scorpio sky and now he's had two of their belts there yeah well no they would give a shit about he's a he's a pretty good talent uh, i said he's him and no sammy charis- both nah, I don't well, he doesn't have a lot of charisma but you can get around that sometimes with an athlete that good like that however he and sammy have both shown that they can't be trusted to go out and do anything on their own without fucking it up because even if sammy wanted to take that bump sky should have said well i got news for you I ain't going to fucking cooperate with that. You fucking moron. You want to bury yourself? Get somebody else to help you. They went along with this shit. They came up probably with most of it amongst themselves. So that's my problem now with Scorpio Sky. He can't be trusted. And the people would care about him a little bit if, since he's been there since the start, if he had actually wrestled on television, especially since he turned heel and joined Lambert, more than maybe once or twice in the last 
six to nine months, they might care a little bit. Well, they don't right now. And that's my question no. for you. <laughs> One of two things is going to happen. Do they give him a little bit of a run here with this belt with Lambert? I have not been a fan of this. I think this has been minor league stuff, but do they really try to make it work here? Or do they have him just win the belt to set him up for Wardlow? Because Wardlow gets that title shot, right? Ooh, you are correct, son. Well, there you go, because they don't want Wardlow to have to beat Sammy Guevara because he's very popular. That would diminish Wardlow's status. Now Wardlow can beat a heel. Although, you know? although I don't know. It, it seems the kind of situation where MJF would cost Wardlow the match because of the title. Or MJF, actually, he's still under contract to MJF and kayfabe right well yes the, the the contract still stands he's just said that he re recognizes now he shouldn't have been doing all this and max is an asshole and and you know but we don't know what max's response is going to be well you still got to do this or i'm going to sue you and throw granny out in the street can max demand the tnt championship well i guess he can demand it all he wants whether wardlow's going to give it up or not it's a different story hey if he wants a job if he wants to take care of mama he better well, here's the thing. I got a feeling a guy that size and that he's won a wrestling championship, he could probably get booked elsewhere. 